All right. Example number five, determine the missing variable from a given sequence. So the following sequence, each sequence you are, you are going to be given missing variables on a sequence on, on a pattern. Now, you can either be given which this thing here is geometric. You can be given which is arithmetic. You can be given which is what it's, it's quadratic. And then they want you to use the properties of those sequence. For example, in this one, they say which this thing here are the first three terms of a geometric sequence. Let's highlight that. That is very important. These are the first three terms of a geometric sequence. What are the properties of a geometric sequence? We need to talk about that. Properties of a geometric sequence is this, number one. We know which we have Tn, which is going to be given as Arn minus one, okay? And then here's the other thing that we know. We know which we have R, which can be given as term number two divided by term number one. If R is not given this way, R can also be given this way. It can be given as term number three all over term number one, number, number two. So this is equal to R. This is also equal to R. It means which we can equate these two things. If I were to equate these two things, let's check what am I going to have. I am going to have term number two. According to this term number two, it's K minus one. Okay? I'm going to write, okay, I have K minus one. All over, what is term number one? It's K plus one equals two. Term number three, what is term number three? It's 2k minus 5. All over. K minus. It's k minus 1. Now I'm looking for k. I'm going to cross multiply. If I cross multiply, this comes here. And then what are we going to have? We're going to have k minus 1 multiplied by k minus 1, which is going to be equal to k plus 1 multiplied by 2k plus 5. Like this. No? Minus 5. Minus 5. What are we going to do from here? We're going to expand again. This one multiplied by this one. Now, you know, we already know which if there's a minus and a minus, we're going to get what? Minus 2k. Minus and a minus plus one. Okay, this one multiplied by this one. 2k squared. 2k squared. This one multiplied by this one. Minus 5k. This one multiplied by this one. 2k. Then what do you get? 3k. <laughs> Minus 3k. Yes. Okay, this one multiplied by this one. Minus 5. Minus 5. And then from here onwards, we can group everything one side. Let's take everything to this other side here. So what are we going to have? This one is k and this one is k. K squared, k squared. You're going to get what? K squared. This one and this one? Minus k. This one and this one? Minus 6. It's going to be 0. And then from here onwards, you can then say, okay. yes. Okay. Eh? Okay. You want what? Okay. It's okay. I get it, this one is positive. When we take it to this other side, it becomes what? Oh, wow. This one is negative. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's basically we have we have minus 3k plus k. Or when I, if you took everything to this other side, it's fine. When I'm going to have minus k squared first. Okay, open two brackets. K, I get K, ne? minus three plus two. And then we are going to have K, which is going to be equal to three. or three. minus two. Let's check out what does the question say. They said they wanted what? Calculate the value of K and hence determine the possible uh, values of the sequence. Eh? So you are going to write a sequence now. The sequence for K is three, and then the sequence for K is minus two. And this thing looks like minus three. You, my handwriting. So what am I going to have when it's three? I have three plus one. It's three plus one again. Okay? And then the next one is three minus one. It's two multiplied by three minus five. Okay, what is the sequence here? You have four, four two, two, one, one. Okay, let's try it. When 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 we have k is minus two. When we have k is minus two, then it means which we are going to have minus two okay? plus one. Okay, that's the first one. Minus two. Minus two minus one. And then we have two, two multiplied by minus two minus five. Okay, for this one and this one, we get minus one. Yeah. Minus three. 
minus nine. Yeah, both of them, both of them are, are, are correct. There's no one which is wrong. You know, you have a tendency just because something is negative, unless they say that otherwise, then we can come into activity number five then. Is it class work? Yeah, it's a class work now. And, uh,